Hey there guys, probably wondering why I haven't done a thank you video for you guys in a while and that's mostly because I've been busy making content for you guys and some family stuff coming up that I've gotten done with. Uh, you guys are probably wondering, hey, I know you're not getting as many views or and your subscribers are going down. Well, that's mostly because of what's going on in, in the world right now. Uh, the Copa and people have to know losing their jobs, uh, not being able to afford internet anymore so they can't watch your guys' content and because of that YouTube is thinking oh these guys must be bots and I'm subscribing people from your channel which is what happening to me right now uh, so if you guys or straight able to watch my content, stop on my channel, leave a like, comment, and such. So make sure you guys are still subscribed. And basically, my channel would be here if it wasn't for you guys. That's means a lot to me. I'm surprised we've gotten as far as we have. Let's keep growing. Uh, we're literally. At 3,182 last time I checked in the monetization thing. So we're only like 800 and something away from getting monetized. Uh, I know we can do it. Keep it up. And I'm trying to keep the videos within an hour. So like I said, my channel is raw, uncut, unedited. Maybe once my channel gets monetized, I might be able to afford to have someone to you know, do the editing part of the channel. But as you guys know, I am homeless, living off of GA, which I only get a hundred, uh, I think it's a hundred and five now a month I get. And after paying for my phone bill, my share of the internet, at the board and lodge I'm living at. Uh, so I can make content for you guys. Basically, if it wasn't for a job I have for less than a week, the year before the whole pandemic happened, I would not even be able to upgrade my system to what it is now. Plus, family members helping out. Which, if any of you are subscribed to the channel, thank you guys. Especially uh, my cousin Matt. He helped basically get the motherboard, the processor, uh, the RAM for the PC, and like I said, thanks to Stims Check and some close friends, been able to get my setup to what it is now. And like I said, as soon as I'm able to get monetized, I will obviously after a year after being monetized, make sure the income is no sufficient enough to where I can live on my own and I gotta worry about becoming homeless again and being screwed uh, I was I was you know start streaming for you guys because I also had my own internet which gotta make sure for at least no 1080p 60 frames per second it's gotta be at least for an upload speed of 17 megabytes per second for no issues which you guys are wondering oh you got internet why ain't you live streaming well it's because my upload speed is barely five megabytes per second where my download is a hundred so downloading the game takes me only let's say fallout or easel what else was like a hundred gigs to download uh, that's like 100 gigs. I think Soma. Some of these game, games I got, they're my thing. Uh, do, 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 do. This one. I know I gotta make one for like right bottom corner, right upper corner. Uh, but as you can see, some of these games probably like only 20 gigs max. Some of them are. 100 gigs plus fall forward 100 gigs and 
with that 100 megabytes per second download, I think it took only like two hours to download. Which is nice. Now, imagine when I do gameplays for any of my vids, hour long at 1080p, 60 frames per second, that could be for an hour, I think like 60 gigabytes of data. So imagine same thing for when you stream, when you're you know, live streaming on YouTube or Twitch. So at least 15 to 17 megabytes per second and live streaming is no issue. But with five, can you imagine trying to live stream, not live stream, but stream any 1080p video on your computer with that kind of internet speed? It's just not going to happen. It's going to keep you buffering and this being bad uh, overall experience for you guys. And as you guys can see, I also have better webcam than what I had before. The webcam I had before was uh, when I was borrowing from one of my roommates. It was uh, a Microsoft LifeCam 480p, uh, 30 frames per second. This is a an Alki 1080p, 60 frames per second webcam with a little wider view, too, so you guys are able to uh, see more. And Tosh, you know, proved that. That's my bed right in the background. <coughs> Computer on top of a dresser. <coughs> you guys can actually see my whole setup. I made a video of that with every time I get any new equipment. Do an unboxing and do a quick little tour of what my setup looks like for you guys. And the innards of the PC. You guys are probably wondering, why do you have IGB fans? Well, Obviously, so I can see inside the PC and make sure that everything's working like it should. Two, it's cool. And the fans that came with the tar originally sucked. Like, I did a paper test to see if it's even no blowing any air out the back. And it <laughs> wasn't even though the thing was on. Where these actually put out a lot of air. So my system stays way cooler now. I'm playing and recording for you guys. Uh, like the back fan, how I have it now, so you know, venting air out, it's venting air in, same with the two front. Then I got two up here, as you guys have seen, it's the last upgrade for right now for the PC, next to my uh, 1660 Super Game Repaired. Which, again, thanks to the stimulus check, I was finding out to get that sent out to Gigabyte so they can fix it. Since I had a <clears throat> three year warranty on it. So now everything's working like it should be working. It will play games in high quality at 60 frames per second, no issues. Apparently, it will go 4K with my current graphic card, but won't be able to record it for you because. First reason it only reads on OBS as a 1080p graphic card, even though I can play my games in 4K with it. Found that out. <laughs> I was like, hmm, it works, just can't record. <laughs> Plus, obviously, now I've got 16 gigs of RAM in her, all together, all four slots of full field at G Skill, uh, Rick Jaw 5s. 32 hertz for read speed. Then the power supply and things that stimulus checks and the hard drive, which is a step up from a standard hard drive. It's kind of like a hybrid of a solid state and a regular hard drive. The uh, Barracuda. Gaming hardware basically. This is cheap, two terabyte. 
what it's going to get a four terabyte, but then have that much money somewhere for the two. Uh, if we do get another stimulus check, I will probably get another four terabyte by the legit solid state drive and basically re download all my games, put them onto that one so that they work like they should work. And the only game that I know of besides Fallout 3 and New Vegas because you have to on Steam, because I'm not going to rebound again on the Shiva, because that's just a waste of money if I already want to remove things. Uh, had to go through the whole thing again to trick it into thinking that it's going to have games for Windows Live, Microsoft, you really got to bring that back. Don't know why you got rid of it. Bring it back so people can stop, have to go through this bullshit. Or make it where, since you own the Shiva now, it's standard. For Steam, all the Steam games and Cedra in the game, so no one has to go through the hassle of going to play Fall New Vegas or Fall Three just to get the games to run. Same I think with Fall One and Fall Two, I have to do basically the same shit, tricking and thinking that it has game for Windows Live. But anyways, just want to say thank you guys for being subscribed to the channel and then showing the support that you're able to support, uh, show. Uh, keep it up. I know we can hit that 4K with no issues, and hopefully it's by my birthday. By the way, which is May 30th, if you guys don't know, so that's 15 days away from now. Uh, also, would love to see 2K subs on the channel. I know we can do it. Just gotta keep you no know, liking, sharing the video, spread the word, basically, and we can hit that mark, no issues. I know we can. I count that some of you guys have done some of my videos with 2,000 or more views on them. I think one of my videos got 20k views. If you can see that kind of explosion again, it'll be awesome. And most likely this month and maybe next month, it's going to be nothing but Fault 76. It's because have someone to actually play with online with so and it's getting interesting now I do have one solo play bit up nothing really much going on there that's gonna be up on the channel soon but yeah until next time see ya bye